On today's episode, I'm going to show you how I adjust the bed on my DaVinci 3D printer to give me that perfect first layer and make it stick. Now the DaVinci software comes with an auto calibration mode and I've tried it. It's kind of a pain because every time it does it, it has to heat the bed, it has to heat the extruder. So in between each measurement cycle, you got to wait. And even then, I've set it up so it passes the self calibration and I still wasn't happy with how that layer, that first layer stuck to the bed. So I use a different method. It's my own method and I found that other people do something similar. So let me show you what that is. And it all comes down to the thickness of the first layer, that first extruded plastic layer that gets mushed down onto the heated bed. It's key of how thick that is. And you can tell by how wide it is once it's laid down. And you'll use that visual measurement as kind of your calibration point. Let me show you a little sketch to describe what I'm talking about. If I had the extruder and then I could see the cross section of the plastic that's coming out of it, you'll know that it gets squished based on the clearance between the extruder and the bed. So that thickness is key, and I've found it's about a 0.2 millimeter that works best. But it doesn't start that way. Let me explain. This is plastic that's extruded from the extruder itself, from the, the nozzle. And if I take my calipers and I measure that, it comes out to, even though it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I measure 0.49, almost 0.5 millimeters. So now you figure that each layer of this is going to move at a 0.1 to 0.4 depending on what your layer height is. So that first layer is critical. You've got to mush this 0.5 down to something that's then going to get a 0.1 to 0.4 on top of it. So I shoot for a 0.2 height once that first layer is there. Now you can't measure it so you've got to eyeball it. I printed out three different levels. I got a 0.45 thickness, and you can see how thin it is. Then there's a 0.25 thickness, which to me is the perfect thickness, a little bit wider. And then there's a 0.18 thick, and that's real wide. This 0.25 is what I shoot for. I adjust for this at the start of the print. Let me show you. Here's the start of a print that I set up to print at that 0.45. So it's not going to squish down the plastic very much, and if you look close here, you can see it's not squished down hardly at all. Now this is actually considered a very good height, and if you did the Da Vinci calibration, you probably come pretty close to this. Unfortunately, what you'll see, and I'll show you in a minute, that they're not sticking to the bed very well. And during a print, this type of thickness will not hold. So this is why there's glue included with the Da Vinci printer. But why should I have to use glue when I have a heated bed? And I find that the glue is somewhat unreliable. So I rely on the heated bed, but look at these prints if I just rely on the heated bed, no glue. I can easily just push them out of the way. And because that bottom layer didn't stick and hold, sometime during the print it gets picked up and stuck to the extruder and messes up the whole print. So this top piece here that you see is the .45. And the bottom piece is a 0.25 that I find sticks really well, with or without glue. So this is how I get there. I start the print, and when it gets over the adjustment knob and I can see how wide it is, I adjust the knob to get it to that 0.25 thickness. It's really just an eyeball adjustment, but it's really not that hard to do. Now when it gets near the back adjustment, then I do the same thing. I reach in and I adjust it to try and get that same thickness in the back. And I'll do that again on the other adjustment knob. Now here's the finished results. I paused it after the first layer. Remember it started out at the 0.45 before I adjusted it to the 0.25 thickness. And look at the 0.45 wanted to jump off and mess up the next print. But the 0.25 they stick and there's no glue here. These are being stuck to the heated bed, which is still pretty hot. Now look at this back one. There's a, a piece of the 0.45 that got all the way back there to mess up a print. So this is what you want. You want these things to stick like this. 
Now, if you really need something to stick and you don't want to put glue, you can go to that 0.18 or smaller. But the 0.25 gives you a good stick and doesn't distort the bottom too much. So that's it. That's how I adjust the bed on my DaVinci printer. Now, some people have a trick where while it's printing, when it just starts out printing, they shut it off. Then the bed is at the print height and they can move the head around and now they can come in there with a piece of paper and slide it under the extruder and adjust the knobs that way. That may be good for a starting point. I've tried it. I don't like shutting my printer off in the middle of a print. I, I don't know if that hurts it, but I just don't see a need for it. Because this way, the way I do it is I can start a print and then just check it. Maybe I only need to tweak it a little bit, but I, each print could be different. You know, I can have one where I set it to, you know, the, the real fine because I, I want that, but I better make sure I have a lot of glue down because the heat bed isn't going to work too well. Or I can really mush it down if I really need it to stick and I don't care what the bottom looks like. But in most cases, I leave it at the 0 0.2, 0 0.25, that thickness, and it sticks really well. And it's only one thin layer that I have to clean out if there's a hole that went through or something like that that it may be blocking. So there's a slight cleanup I do at the bottom, but it's so easy. It's just, it's a 0.2 millimeter layer. It's easy to clean up. So that's what I do, and the prints come out really good. I mean, here's the prints that we just did, and you can barely see a, a lip on these things. I know it's hard to see in the camera, but they came out nice and round. They stuck really good. 99% of the print is not affected by this, but they stuck. So they they all stayed in position and I got great prints so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe in fact tell your friends about it I'd like to see more subscribers join us see you next time